Well, hello there. You've just stepped into the remarkable world of dreams, consciousness, and that often misunderstood phenomenon, hypnosis. Yes, you heard it right. We're here to traverse the intriguing landscape of the mind, to engage in a sort of cognitive exploration, if you will. So grab a cup of your favorite brew, and let's dive right in. Now, hypnosis, that elusive state of heightened suggestibility and focused attention, it conjures up images of swinging pendulums, spiraling patterns, and, of course, the docile subject, their will surrendered. But we're not here to replicate Hollywood. Instead, we're here to ask, can you be hypnotized while asleep? Oh, I can see your eyebrows going up. The idea of manipulating our dreams, behaviors, or thoughts during sleep is a bit of an oddball, isn't it? makes you feel like you're walking on a tightrope between excitement and fear. And yet, it's questions like these that push the boundaries of our understanding, that lead us into the mysteries of the mind, ripe for exploration. Hypnosis, you see, is not all about stage performances or therapy sessions. It's much more than the nefarious plots of mind control you see in the movies. It's about accessing the subconscious mind, triggering changes in emotions, perceptions, and behaviors. And while we're on the subject, let's not forget our nightly escapade. Sleep. Seems pretty straightforward, right? But what if I told you sleep is like an orchestra, a well-synchronized symphony of physiological and neurological changes? From light sleep to deep sleep to the dream-filled REM stage, each of these stages forms a unique piece of this complex puzzle we're trying to decipher. Now, you might wonder, isn't sleep the antithesis of hypnosis? Hypnosis requires focused attention, and sleep is, well, the exact opposite. But that's where things get interesting. Have you ever had a lucid dream, or maybe sleepwalking? If yes, you've already experienced the paradoxical phenomenon of conscious unconsciousness. And that brings us to the million-dollar question, can you really be hypnotized while asleep? Well, the jury is still out. While some believe in the spectrum of consciousness, viewing sleep and wakefulness as varying degrees of the same phenomenon, others remain skeptical. It's true, scientific studies have shown hypnotic suggestions influencing dreams during REM sleep. But are these instances truly sleep hypnosis, or just hypnosis-induced sleep or pre-sleep suggestions playing their part? We're not entirely sure. Before we go further, though, here's a word of caution. It's easy to be swept away by the allure of uncharted territories. But let's remember, anecdotes and initial findings, no matter how captivating, can't replace robust scientific consensus. As we delve deeper into the complex interplay of sleep stages, timing, individual susceptibility, and more, we'll need more than just a sense of adventure. You see, sleep isn't just your everyday boredom cure or a luxury retreat from reality. It's a state where your brain, much like a frantic party planner, busily sorts, tags, and archives your day's events. And while you're off in la-la land, your neurons are doing the macarena, traversing intricate dance routines we've come to know as sleep stages. Now, some folks believe that during these stages, particularly light sleep when the brain's cranking out theta waves, we're more open to suggestions. This idea brings us to the intriguing concept of sleep hypnosis. The idea that while our conscious minds are counting sheep, we can harness the power of suggestion to create positive changes. Imagine it, addressing insomnia, conquering night terrors, even diverting sleepwalking trips to the refrigerator, all without popping a single pill. But wait, before you get too excited, let's remember not everyone is equally susceptible to hypnosis. Just like how some of us can fall asleep anywhere, anytime, while others need complete silence, the right temperature, a specific pillow, and a lullaby from Adele, Hypnotic responsiveness, too, is a diverse spectrum. And, of course, let's not forget the crucial players behind the scenes, our very own brain regions and a few neurotransmitter buddies. The anterior cingulate cortex, the prefrontal cortex, serotonin, and dopamine all potentially play roles in the sleep hypnosis symphony. Yet, they remain as elusive as that one friend who always manages to sneak out of the party before cleanup time. And then there are the ethical considerations. Sleep, my friends, is a vulnerable state where our brain is the night watchman. Now, if we add hypnosis to the mix, it's like inviting a stranger to the party while the watchman's off duty. You see the problem here, right? It's all fun and games until someone's boundaries are crossed. This reminds us to be cautious about who we let into our sleep party. Seeking help? 
check their credentials, ensure they're licensed, and most importantly, they respect your boundaries. After all, you don't want to wake up barking like a dog every time you hear a doorbell, do you? Oh, and we're just scratching the surface here. Like pioneers on a brave new frontier, we're also venturing into the wild world of self-hypnosis, hypnotech, and lucid dreaming. Imagine the possibilities, guiding your own dreams, tweaking your mental state with an app, or realizing you're in a dream and then taking control. Kind of gives the phrase, in your dreams, a whole new dimension, doesn't it? In the end, as we wade through the realms of sleep, hypnosis, and dreams, we're left with more questions than answers. Like trying to remember a dream, the more we grasp at it, the more elusive it becomes. But that's the beauty of exploration, isn't it? Even as we acknowledge the challenges, the potential is tantalizingly vast. So here's to the promise of better sleep, improved mental health, and a grand exploration of our inner world. Because as the Dalai Lama once said, sleep is the best meditation. And who knows, maybe the secret to unlocking our fullest potential lies not in our waking moments, but in the mysterious magical world of sleep. If we're aiming to revolutionize our nights, transform them into a journey of exploration, healing, and personal growth, we can't stop here. Remember those technological innovations we've been chatting about? Self-hypnosis, hypnotic apps, lucid dreaming? Well, hold on to your pillows because the world of neurotech is cooking up some dreamy possibilities. As it turns out, the solution to those sleepless nights might lie not in a pill bottle, but in the power of technology. Virtual reality, AI, wearable tech, these aren't just for gaming or tracking your steps anymore. We're exploring their potential to deliver hypnotic suggestions, transforming your snooze fest into a high-tech brain spa. Picture this. Slipping on your VR headset, you're enveloped by a serene landscape. A calm voice guides you through a hypnotic journey, your personal route to the land of Nod. Perhaps it's a beach, waves gently lapping at your feet, or a cozy forest nook under a starlit sky. It's a sleep intervention that doesn't merely sedate, but transports. Yet let's not get carried away in the current of excitement. As we hurtle towards the future, it's essential to remember that technology, like any tool, is as useful or as harmful as the hands that wield it. Ethics must remain our steadfast compass, the North Star guiding our exploration. As we've pondered, hypnosis, especially sleep hypnosis, is a two-edged sword. It offers potential remedies for sleep disorders, potential avenues for self-improvement, and even a medium for self-exploration. But it also opens up Pandora's box of ethical dilemmas. After all, sleep is our most vulnerable state, and manipulating it requires careful consideration. That's why, as we pioneer these uncharted territories, we need to navigate with the utmost caution. Any voyage into the subconscious must be based on trust, consent, and respect for personal boundaries. And we must maintain a rigorous scientific approach, ensuring any developments are grounded in robust evidence. Now we've traveled a long way, my friends, through the dreamy landscape of sleep, the mystical world of hypnosis, and the tantalizing field of dreams. And yet the horizon beckons us forward towards new understandings and exciting possibilities. So here's your homework. Keep that mind of yours open, Stay informed about the latest developments, and above all, dream well. As we continue our journey, remember this. The exploration of sleep hypnosis is a voyage not just into the realm of sleep, but into the deepest, most mysterious corners of the human mind. So, you might be wondering, can you be hypnotized while asleep? Ah, a burning question that keeps many a sleep scientist up at night. To put it simply, yes, you can. Crazy, huh? When we're talking about sleep hypnosis, we're essentially referring to a deep state of relaxation during which a person can respond to behavioral suggestions. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't that just like being Jedi mind-tricked in your sleep? Well, not exactly, but close enough. And here's another brain boggler for you. Are you aware when you're hypnotized while asleep? Short answer, likely not. The magic of sleep hypnosis lies in the fact that you may react to suggestions without even being aware of it in your subsequent waking state. It's like having a productive meeting with your subconscious while your conscious mind is blissfully snoozing away. Now, if you're wondering what happens if you fall asleep during hypnosis, well, the effectiveness might take a bit of a nosedive. 
It's like trying to have a conversation with someone who's nodding off. It's not exactly the most productive exchange, is it? So yes, while the subconscious is open for business, it does seem to work better when you're fully awake and invested in the session. Sleep hypnosis, though, isn't a one-trick pony. It's got quite a repertoire, from helping improve sleep quality to managing stress and anxiety to bolstering confidence. Some people even use it for tackling specific issues like ditching a smoking habit or shedding a few pounds. It's like having a Swiss Army knife for your brain. However, and this is important, always consult a qualified professional for personalized guidance. It's always better to have an expert navigating these somewhat murky waters, right? Now you might be wondering if you can be hypnotized to sleep better. Hypnosis, my friends, is not unlike a soothing lullaby for your mind calming racing thoughts, and creating a more conducive environment for sleep. But remember, it's not a magic wand. It's a tool, one that when used correctly, can contribute to a better night's sleep. And what about being hypnotized while dreaming, you ask? Well, hold on to your hats, because this is where it gets really interesting. Some individuals may respond to hypnotic suggestions while dreaming. It's like directing your own movie in your sleep. Spielberg, eat your heart out. The benefits of sleep hypnosis? Oh, they are numerous. From enhanced sleep quality, relaxation, stress reduction, to boosted self-confidence. Imagine waking up not only refreshed, but also a little bit more awesome. But is sleep hypnosis a one-size-fits-all solution? Not exactly. Some people are more receptive than others. You see, it's like being ticklish. It varies from person to person. So the effectiveness can be influenced by factors like your mindset willingness to engage, and individual susceptibility. And for the real DIY enthusiasts among us, yes, sleep hypnosis can be self-administered. With pre-recorded audio or guided visualization techniques, you can take a solo trip into your subconscious. But remember, like any solo trip, it's always safer and potentially more effective with an expert guide. The last word I'll leave you with is from none other than Dr. David Spiegel, a leading expert in the field of hypnosis who explains that comparing sleep hypnosis to traditional hypnosis is like comparing apples to oranges. Both have potential benefits, but more research is needed to determine the efficacy of sleep hypnosis specifically. Well, that's all from me today, folks. I hope I've been able to shed a little light on the fascinating subject of sleep, dreams, and hypnosis. Keep those minds open, stay curious, and never stop exploring the fascinating world of your subconscious. Remember, the journey into sleep is as much a journey within. So, on that note, dream well, sleep tight, and until next time, 